have grown and have become a contributing member of my country and my society. I have become a voice for the voiceless. I am fulfilling my dream as a Mandela Washington Fellow. freedom. Access and freedom to me may not mean the same thing to you. Access to seemingly insignificant things like accessing the shopping mall, accessing the toilet, accessing public transportation that are inclusive of persons like me. I get to experience it here in America after 13 years. represents a huge co community of persons with disabilities who do not have faces, who do not have voices. I get to experience, after so many years, what inclusion and access should be for them. And I am going back to Africa to make sure that that dream becomes a reality. This is CC Call coming to you live. Yani has become that platform for inspiration service. for young emerging Africans, leaders like you. We come from different countries, from different sectors, yet united with a common goal for a new Africa. song, Ego Happen. I say, yes we can. Sure we can. Change Africa. We represent a network of young African leaders emerging like soldiers. Fearlessly positioned to declare Ego happen. So, let the philosophers and the great minds of this world get ready to learn from the wisdom of Africa. And you, you represent that Africa. The last six weeks has been inspiring and useful, right? Yeah. In your various schools, right? Yeah. The last six weeks has been inspiring and useful for the work that we have ahead. So we commit ourselves to going back and become the solution that our continent needs. Do you believe that? Yeah. Over the past two weeks, President Barack Obama has met 10 world leaders discussing the change that we know Africa needs. And today, he is right here in our midst. Setting us up as young African leaders to become that change that our continent deserves. One man has shown which is life and character, that change and greatness is possible if only you will try. Yeah. Are you ready to try? Yeah. He inspires hope, not just for the youth of America, but for the next generation of world leaders. And that is why he created the Young African Leadership Initiative that we all represent today. His vision for us is not just to change Africa, but to form a foundation of leaders that are ready to take over the borders. So join me this morning as we welcome <laughs> 